hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing well today guys i'll be checking out this video and it's titled whoopi goberg unleashes on co-host over biden's pardon you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what this video is all about the view host whoopi goldberg has unleashed on her co-host Alyssa farrah griffin over joe biden's pardoning of his son hunter goldberg and griffin got into a heated exchange after griffin claimed joe biden lied in the past when he repeatedly said he would never pardon his son hunter because i have I respect it as a parent. I understand why he would do it. Yeah. But I wonder to understand why lie about it for so long. I, 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 I would stop, but, but, I'd stop but when, calling it a lie. Okay, why repeatedly say you're not going to when you do And secondarily, for the part of this country, half of it that doesn't support Biden, doesn't know him personally, doesn't get to have phone calls, and they're just looking at a system that seems like it only benefits the people who are in well, power. I'm gonna say, what I'm, precedent does that set? Well, here's what it says. It's a precedent for all of us to open our eyes because we've elected someone who is in a similar situation, who didn't have a drug problem, who knew what he was doing, who clearly was stood and said, I can do this, and he did it. So I think, for many, many reasons, this is very different than any other situation that we have ever dealt with. The internet reacted mm. to the bus stop with this commentator oh, saying, Whoopi Goldberg says people need to stop calling Biden a liar for flip-flopping on pardoning Hunter Biden. Biden said he wow. wouldn't pardon his son. He did. This is by definition a lie. And this commentator that, agreed man? saying, Justin, Whoopi Goldberg says what Hunter Biden did is okay because he was addicted to drugs, unlike Trump, who is not a drug addict. Remarkable. Mm. Goldberg said people need to stop accusing Biden of lying when he said he would not be pardoning his son. And it seems like Whoopi Goldberg is one of the last mainstream media hosts who are still supporting Joe Biden, with even leftist outlet MSNBC slamming the president. Walsh, welcome Congressman Walsh. Um, what do you make of all of this? What is likely to be the response on Capitol Hill to this breaking news? Good to be with you. Uh, see, I told you so. Uh, they're all they're all like that. So the next time any of us complain about anything Trump does, th this this pardon is just deflating. For those of us who have been out there for a few years now yelling about what a unique threat Donald Trump is, for Joe Biden to do something like this. Trump, nobody's above the law, we've been screaming. Well, Joe Biden just made clear his son Hunter is above the law. Donald that, Trump man? lies every time he opens his mouth, we've been screaming. And it didn't stop mm -hmm. there. CNN also blasted the president's backflip. Donald Trump Do decided that the minute it was okay to Joe Biden, Corrine Jean-Pierre, how many minutes of tape do we have of both of these people telling the American people this will not happen? It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, we could play it all morning. It's a lie, and it's a lie to benefit his own family, that's and that's fine, all that it is. Just, and everybody who wait, went on just, TV and said, oh, look how he's the modern George that. Washington. He's drained every ounce of credibility from every surrogate. If Corrine Jean-Pierre had an ounce of self-respect, she'd get off the plane in Africa today where they're going so he can avoid the press and resign. He's drained all of her credibility, and everybody else who's defended this, it's draining. You guys, I totally agree with what this man just said here joe biden lied over and over again because he wasn't just asked once if he was going to pardon his son but on numerous occasions and his answer has always remained no and at the end of the day he went on to pardon his son he knew right from the onset when the questions started coming that he was going to pardon his son but he kept saying no I don't know what lies is anymore. Let me know what you guys think about this video so far and let's continue watching you guys. Both sides of the media are having a field day exposing Joe Biden's lie. Let's go to the US now where of course Joe Biden is uh, in the, the dying days of his presidency. He's got less than two months to go in the job so he's tying up a few odds and ends and this question keeps coming up about his son Hunter, the, the crackhead Hunter Biden. But oh you know he was convicted earlier in the year of course uh, back in June he was 
done for buying guns while he was a drug addict. He had declared on the papers that he was not a drug addict at the time, so there were three felonies. Then in September, he pleaded guilty to not paying at least $1.4 million in taxes. And you know, many times, Joe has been asking, you going to pardon your son? Are you going to pardon your son? Look, uh, he's considering it. There's no doubt about that. But at least we know that Joe Biden thinks that no one, not even his son, is above the law. I'm calling for a constitutional amendment. Call no one is above the law amendment. Each, each of us is equal before the law. No one, no one is above the law. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. Hmm. The justice system should be respected. No, one size up the law. to tear it down. Those responsible can be held accountable. In my administration, no one, in my no one is above the law. And don't fear, he has been personally asked this question multiple times. Will you pardon your own son? No way. Uh, your son Hunter is on trial, and I know that you cannot speak about an ongoing uh, federal prosecution. But let me ask you, will you accept the jury's outcome, their verdict, no matter what it is? Yes. And have you ruled out a pardon for your son? Yes. With regard to the question regarding the family, I'm extremely proud of my son Hunter. He has overcome an addiction. He is he's one of the brightest, most decent men I know. And uh, I am satisfied that I'm not going to do anything. I, sa I said I'd abide by the jury decision, and I will do that, and I will not pardon him. And, of course, his press secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre, has also been asked multiple times, and she has always said there is no way this will happen. Hmm. When would the president pardon or commute his son uh, if he's convicted? So I've answered this question before. It was asked of me not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I was very clear, and I said no. I know you said not a lot's changed since yesterday, and it's a personal matter, but from a presidential perspective, is there any possibility that the president would end up pardoning his son? No. Uh, I just want to make sure that that is not going to change over the next six months. The president's it's saying still, it's, not. Still, it's still a no. It's still a no. It will always be a no. It's still a no. It will be a no. It, it is a no. And I don't have anything else to add. Will he pardon his son? No. This is really, really an abuse of power because this really shows that Hunter Biden is truly above the law. And because I'm just thinking out here, if this happens to be Donald Trump, this matter would have gone to hell and back and everyone and their grandmother would still be talking about how Donald Trump is a liar every time he opens his mouth. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And what are your thoughts on, okay. And what are your thoughts on Joe Biden pardoning his son Hunter Biden? Do you think that is what a father would have done do you guys think that is what every father would have done if they happened to be in joe biden's show i really want to hear your thoughts on this particular one and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys